Hey girls, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. In today's video, I am sharing new arrivals from Abercrombie and Revolve. I am styling up fall outfits and I'm super excited to share them with you. Of course, everything that I share in today's video, even the items I don't specifically speak to, will be linked down below in the description box if you're on mobile tablet to this video and everything will populate for you there. You can also scan this QR code and that will take you straight to my LTK page. I link everything in the LTK app. It's completely free to download. But I link everything in there first. I share lots of home content over there. Um, just products that I love on a daily basis. I share a lot of more content over there. Of course, also listed down below in the description box, you can find my Instagram handle, TikTok. You can also find my Poshmark account. I have so many items listed. Would love to make room in this apartment. I am bursting at the seams. I actually just feel like I'm kind of in a place where I'm really wanting to get rid of a lot of items in my closet, kind of simplify a little bit. So lots to come listing over there but of course I already have like probably a couple hundred items over there so make me a good offer I gotta get that stuff out I need to make some room now in case you're new around here welcome my name is Brittany I create clothing haul videos typically twice a week here on my channel my husband and I were actually just on a vacation we drove north we live in Southern California so we drove the coast north stopped along the way stopped in Big Sur Monterey San Francisco and made our way to Lake Tahoe for a few days and come back down so and came back down so it was a lovely trip but I did miss my Wednesday upload I missed y'all I hope y'all have been having a good week I can't believe we're moving into October so quickly here and I'm just really excited to share some of these fall outfits so let's get right into my Abercrombie and Revolve clothing haul I always say I don't go in any particular order but this is absolutely my favorite item in the haul for sure um, I just spotted this on Revolve's website and I thought it was just so stunning so classic I feel like it is the perfect fall sweater dress um, this is by the brand I know it's French one of y'all just told me how to say it La Academ. La Academy or Academy, um, but anyways, Revolve brand wearing my usual size medium. A little bit on the pricier side, but the quality is a 10 out of 10, and I expect to have this for multiple years wearing it a ton and styling it lots of different ways. I personally just think this cable knit detailing is something different in a sweater dress. I think it's timeless. I think it's absolutely stunning. This to me is one of my favorite colors. I definitely like to stick in this neutral kind of taupey oatmeal color. Um, it is my favorite neutral for sure. I just feel like it is so beautiful and complements a lot of skin tones. So when I saw this, I thought it was stunning. Underneath it, I am wearing my favorite new bodysuit from Honey Love. Um, it is a bodysuit that comes down like mid thigh built all the way up to your chest your bra like it's all attached one piece which I find to be really nice because I think it really just smooths everything out um, you don't have any lines on your like bra line and then your back and then if you have anything like underwear on or anything like that just so smooth gives a really nice curve absolutely recommend that shapewear ever since I got in a couple pieces from Honey Love like about a month ago I have just literally only cycled through them I love their stuff anyways though styled this back with these new boots that I recently got in from Franco Sarto in this video I actually styled a ton of new shoes and I plan to do a fall shoe haul if y'all want to see that really soon um, let me know leave me a comment down below but I got in these ones and I just simply love them I love how fitted they are to the leg and calf definitely like a knee-high boot which is totally on track trend for the fall season love this cognac color I feel like you can style this you know so many different times like it's just like that perfect fall neutral color to style so I absolutely love this I am 90% sure this isn't full-on leather I wish it was however it is a wide calf I think my calf measurement is like 15 and a half or something like that so sometimes I need wide calves sometimes I don't it tends it seems that with Franco Sarto, I need to get the wide calf. So keep that in mind, but I really love how comfortable this is. Easy to put on, easy to take off, obviously. And I think this together with my Louis Vuitton bag, I think it's just like a really timeless, great fall outfit. Now I have another sweater dress. I feel like it's the perfect season to wear um, nice, cozy fall sweater dresses. This one caught my eye immediately from Abercrombie. I'm wearing a size medium. That is my usual size from Abercrombie. And I just think this rust chocolate color is stunning. It is perfect for fall. And I just think this is stunning. This dress does come in a couple other colors. I know it comes in a cream and I think it comes in one other color. I'll leave it linked down below in the description box. I'll write it out and leave it linked. Um, but I love it. it has like this faux wrap detailing here on the chest 
and then it has the tie to kind of go ahead and tie around your waist you can kind of cross it a couple times and then tie it in a little bow like I had um, but I think it's just really really nicely made super great quality very cozy very soft I think this is like very feminine looks beautiful for a date night or some kind of event that you have coming up has a little bit of a slit over here but I find that with the shapewear that I wear again that bodysuit 10 out of 10 recommend um, I just kind of pull it up a little bit higher it doesn't do any creasing or anything it's not uncomfortable it's not too constricting so I feel like um, you don't have to worry too much about that it's not like a crazy high slit but like I said absolutely stunning color it comes in several different colors now the boots that I styled this um, with the sweater dress are these ones right here from Dolce Vita. I absolutely love Dolce Vita's shoes. I feel like the quality is always amazing. The fit is always like nice. Everything's on trend. I just feel like they're such a good place to order shoes from. And so I saw these and they come in lots of different colors. This color I believe is the truffle suede color, but I feel like it's I feel like it's just that perfect fall boot. This is exactly what I was looking for. A knee-high boot, but very comfortable, easy to get on. I like the little heel down here, more of a platform heel. I just feel like it's just very comfortable. One thing I will say with Dolce Vita, I'm typically a size six and a half, and I have found with ordering from them a lot lately that I typically size up about a half size. The way that these boots fit across my foot just feels a little snug, so I do recommend sizing up a half size. Um, I had not, I, sh I should have, but I don't have a wide foot, so I'm a little surprised at how that snugs, how that fits. If you have a wide foot, just go ahead and forget these. These aren't gonna be for you. They're just a little bit of a more narrow kind of footing. So I just wanted to point that out, but this comes, these boots come in lots of different colors, wide calf as well as just a regular calf. And like I said, lots of different shades between cognac, cream, um, there's like a leather option, black and cream leather option, I believe. Just lots of really good options, and I just feel like this is the perfect fall fall boot for the fall season. Now, I saw this little eraser back tank top on Revolve's website, and it immediately caught my eye because I feel like this is such a good piece to have in your wardrobe to style in a really casual way, but then also like that perfect layering tank or basic tank to style up in the holiday season. So I styled this in a casual way first. I threw on those ripped jeans from Abercrombie. They are definitely several years old. I will link some of their options down below, but I wanted to just kind of give this like a more casual vibe. So I threw this on with those jeans and then the booties that I styled it with, those are also from Dolce Vita. Again, these come in a couple different colors and I would recommend sizing up a little narrow here against across the width of the foot as well. Um, but these are just like a perfect boot I feel like the heel height is perfect. You're wearing this every day, all day, very comfortable. I love the square pointed toes there. I feel like that's just elongates the leg and just really just a beautiful pair of boots. I feel like these are just classic everyday booties. Anyways, with that, I thought it was really cute. And then I threw on this cardigan. This is one of my favorite cardigans that I own. It's from Barefoot Dreams, super comfortable. And again, just like the perfect taupe shade that I absolutely love. Barefoot Dreams is known for how soft the material is. I feel like you might have heard from them, might have heard of them from other people sharing like the blankets and stuff. I've shared a lot from them too, but just really, really super comfortable. And I just think this is really cute thrown together with like the jeans and the boots for just like a very casual fall outfit. I did throw on a hat too. I'll link something similar down below, but whether you wear the hat or not, I just think it's a really cute fall outfit. A great, simple, fall outfit. If you have a fall activity, I think this look is just perfect. And then a way to dress this up, I definitely think you could style this with black for sure and even throw on a blazer for like a really nice holiday look. I styled it with these pants that I got in from Revolve. They are a brown, um, they're a beautiful brown shade. And again, it's that La Academ pants, um, the brand or whatever, but I did size up too large. They're a little loose in the waist, but I feel like the medium would be too snug on my butt and thighs. My measurements are listed down below. And again, I'm 5'5 five five for reference. Typically a size eight, but it really depends on the brand. But I think this was simple nude heels. Um, if you live somewhere where you can't wear open toed, then I think like a pointed heel would be really cute or even like a pair of boots as well. Um, again, throw a blazer on for a little bit of a jacket to dress it up, but definitely really good basics to have for the fall season to style lots of different ways. And then of course, moving into the holiday season. Now I love a good denim dress and this one I spotted in Abercrombie the other day when I was in there. It's just a simple black tank top denim dress. More of an A-line, which I think is super flattering. Definitely fits like curves well. Um, I did get a, my normal size medium in this. I don't have any shapewear on underneath, but of course, if you wanted to, to just give a little more compression, um, tighten everything up, I think obviously you could very easily do that. This dress also comes in a lighter denim version, and Abercrombie actually has a long sleeve denim version, which 
I absolutely need. I think that is so cute with boots, cowboy boots, even sneakers. I feel like there's lots of different ways. So I'll leave a link to the long sleeve denim dress down below as well. But I just thought this was really cute. I originally got it for our trip. I thought this would be cute with like little boots or Converse con um, lug sole boots and like a flannel to wear around. I didn't end up wearing it just because I feel like I didn't change. <laughs> I brought way too many outfits for that trip. But I was kind of in like a lot of athleisure. We were doing lots of hikes and different things like that. But I really love this for a fall outfit, a fall activity that you have. Of course, I feel like add a flannel to this, such an easy fall outfit. You can tie this around your waist, wear it loosely off your shoulders, or just simply wear it as a shirt. And then I also wanted to show you all this oversized denim jacket that I had picked up from Abercrombie 2. It's in this beautiful blue shade. I did get a size medium in this, and I feel like if I'm going to be layering it a bunch of different times, like over other things, maybe I should have sized up to a large just to kind of give it that oversized fit but it is rather oversized to begin with so I just think this is really cute definitely has substantial weight to this this could absolutely be a jacket but all these pieces together I think just really cute a really good fall outfit now the boots that I styled with that denim dress are these lug sole ones from Dolce Vita they are a weatherproof boot and I have been looking for something like this for probably two years now and again just with the calf situation I hadn't found one that looked good like that looked snug um, to my calf and was like the right like knee high height I don't know I just haven't found anything the last couple years that I've loved and then I got these ones in and I just simply love this I feel like that's so cute has really great stretching elastic here so it definitely fits um, the way that I want it to and I just think this is a good everyday boot kind of has like more of an edgier vibe to it but I absolutely love these. I will definitely style these with like oversized tunics and my Spanx faux leather leggings, style this with jeans. I just feel like definitely love this with skirts and dresses. I love that kind of look. It kind of mixing something feminine and a little edgy. So I love that. And then I also got the shorter ankle booty version in too from Dolce Vita. Again, these are all weatherproof boots and I feel like this is perfect for the season. I have a similar pair from Steve Madden that I wear a ton and I styled a lot on my channel last year that are cream. And so this year I knew I definitely wanted to get black. Just how versatile the boot, the cream one was, I knew I'd wear and style the black a ton. So definitely really happy with these. Again, I had size up just a half size and they fit perfectly. So I'm in a seven when I'm typically a six and a half. Saw this beautiful floral satin midi skirt in Abercrombie when I was in there the other day. This is part of Kathleen Post's collection. Um, I love following her over on Instagram, but I feel like this is such a timeless floral, and I feel like it's it looks new. It looks appropriate for the season, and I feel like you can just wear this a ton, style it for a holiday, dress it up for the holiday, wear it into the office, style it in a more casual way. Um, I also feel like this in winter would be really cute with a chunky turtleneck and boots. So I just thought this looked really pretty, simple, but really pretty. I I am in a size medium in this skirt which I'm kind of surprised because I feel like these kind of skirts can sometimes hit weird on a curvier build or at least I feel so on myself my hips and my butt but I definitely really like how this fits I styled it back with a simple cardigan uh, v-neck cardigan top I will definitely link something similar down below but then I threw on this leather jacket I feel like this is a really great fall wardrobe um, staple to have I feel like you can definitely style this you know obviously it's just a great layering piece but I like how style like you're styling something feminine then throwing on a leather jacket and then I threw on those Veja sneakers I feel like this is kind of like we're exploring the city we're going downtown we're doing a lot of walking I really like how that looks and then of course if you just wanted this to be all around a little more feminine then I would go ahead and swap out the sneakers for a pointed boot or a heel sandal and a heel like just a heel I feel like you can definitely dress this up or wear it in the more casual way okay now if you girls have been following me you know I love some comfy pieces definitely had to mention these sweatpants from Abercrombie they are an oversized sweatpant and these these are the pair from last year so I got an extra large I'm gonna link this year's option down below and in those I have tried them in previous hauls here I would get the large so it just really depends if you're wanting something looser um, you can go ahead and just size up once but if you want it fitted I would just get your normal size but um, I just absolutely love Abercrombie quality and then I saw this graphic tee on their website and it says New York City and then the back the back graphic is so beautiful um, I just feel like lots going on there definitely like just beautiful from Central Park and then seeing the view of the city behind it I did size up to a large in this and I have it currently tucked into my bra 
That bra that I have on is actually one of my new favorites. It's from Honey Love as well. Um, same as the bodysuit that I had mentioned earlier. I do have a code with them. I think it gets you 10 or 15% off. But it's a seamless bra, and I feel like it's just perfect. It's so comfortable. You don't get any lines up here. And I just feel like it's easy to tuck shirts into. I definitely am thinking about going ahead and chopping this off because I do like a crop tee and I feel like that's how I would wear it more but for right now I just have it tucked up all around um, just to give it a little bit of a crop to give my body a little bit of a shape but I think this is just really soft really comfy I leather tees this is unisex tee so like I said I got a large I also sometimes get mediums it really kind of depends what's in stock to be honest and then I styled it with this free people ruby jacket this is the color stone and again this is one of my most worn, most loved pieces in my wardrobe, especially coming into the fall season. So if you're someone that wants to, if you wear more active wear or athleisure stuff, but you don't have like the right jacket, hands down, I can't recommend this enough. This is what I'm grabbing like 90% of the time. Comes in lots of different colors. Free People comes out with it in different colors and prints every single year. So I will leave a couple options down below, different retailers where you can pick this up. And again, this is in the stone color. And then I had styled this with my Birkenstocks, those I recently got in. I have lots of Birkenstock and Ugg Tasman slippers and Ugg platforms, um, boots to outfits to share with y'all. I'm definitely going to do a series over on my TikTok, so be sure to follow me over there. My handle's at Brittany and Courtney, real easy. Would love for you girls to follow over there. Okay, girls, so that is it for my Abercrombie and Revolve fall haul, styling fall outfits. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Please leave me a comment if there's something you would like to see. What was your favorite outfit? What are you most excited about for fall fashion? I just love chatting with you girls and so appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to see you really soon in my next one.